For those who want to know, here's an example of how fast Minecraft loads on this computer, which is an HP EliteBook 8770W. See, it pops up pretty quickly. I upgraded this computer from a um, 350 gigabyte HDD to a one terabyte SSD. And even though it's an old computer, it's got really good specs in it and it's very upgradable. And I think it was totally worth it. It sped things up by a lot and made Minecraft much smoother. I haven't opened Minecraft in a little while. So. Let's see, open that up. Okay, let's try. Just showing you how fast the world loads up. And I will walk around in it to give you an example of the smoothness of it now. which I'm thinking at first it might not be the smoothest that it gets. It's, sometimes it takes a minute to, um, to get where it's gonna be. See, it's a little chunky at first when you first load in. I haven't played this in forever, but yeah, it's a little, I don't play this in forever too. After I can tell you this, after you play it for like five minutes or so, it the graphics get better. See, it's already getting better, which is it's not perfect, but it was a lot better. So I wouldn't recommend this computer really for gaming if you want the smoothest. But if you like want this computer for work and you might be playing games eventually or part of your day look look how smooth it just got oh and it works pretty good with multiplayer too if you have good wi-fi well, i mean it's not a terrible game for gaming like little games or i guess minecraft is considered kind of not a huge game but there you go so you get an idea of the speed here's an idea about how fast it will restart so let's go power restart. I haven't restarted this uh, computer in a while. Oh, and I understand that um, the Minecraft, you can change settings like graphics and all kinds of things to make it even play better or something. I don't know what my settings were on, but I know they weren't on the most intense graphics and I know they weren't on the lowest quality. Probably what it automatically sets you as. Okay, we got that, and then let's do the fingerprint scanner. Okay, well, yeah, it just worked. Okay, well, that took about, I mean, it took less than a minute, I know that for sure. Um, but there you go, that's how fast it can reset, well, restart. I'm gonna pull up Google Chrome and show you the speed of how fast, yeah, that pulls up fast. I wanna add that the battery is pretty disappointing if you've had a computer that lasts you a good amount of time when you go somewhere. You gotta keep this one next to a power source because it's pretty. It's a pretty high powered computer and it just, well, let's do that. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> yeah, it, it loads up pretty fast. But anyways, the battery is not that good. I, even with the new battery, it holds a charge, but you can't really depend on it if you don't have a charger nearby. But, I mean, if you're always, you always have the charger available, I mean, I, that's, I always have it available. I never move the computer. It's pretty great. Okay. 
also the speaker on this computer is not that great um if you get this computer you're probably going to want to hook up some speakers which i did which i got these for free from my mom's old computer or use some wireless headphones which i have those too but i mean you can hear when you're in like a meeting or something you can hear as long as there's not you're not in a loud house or anything but oh as far as music quality like the sound of music you're, you're not going to want to hear it on the i mean it's not terrible terrible it's just quality wise it's not that good which is something i don't really care too much about since i have speakers and everything else so i want to put that out there hello i'm about to run a pc user benchmark on this computer i just downloaded this and i haven't done this previously This is just to get an idea of how fast this computer is, if you're consider getting it. It'll tell you all the specs. Well, well, it'll tell you all the performance um, grades and everything afterwards. And to prove, or not to prove, but okay, it's too dark gonna show the model of the computer but this indeed did come in Windows 7 and it has an um, a core i7 which is pretty pretty good It doesn't look as good as on the, on the camera as it does in person. Like it looks really, really nice in person. All the graphics it's showing. Okay. Well, here's the results. Okay. This computer is great for work, but look at the gaming. It says 9% gaming. That's pretty bad. <laughs> in a minute, I'll be showing how Minecraft runs on it, which is pretty good in my opinion, which I, that's the only game that I run. But anyways, it don't look good that good on here it says it's in the 22nd percentile here we go okay you can pause the video and look at that if you'd like and Okay, well that's the results for it. Even though this app does say, or not app, but program says the computer is not that good. I guess compared to all the better computers out there now, I'm telling you, it works really awesome for me and many others have commented and said it works good for them. Which, on gaming standards, probably not the computer to get. <laughs> 